Hello everyone and welcome to this EarthSci introductory video on 3D data. To begin with, we're going to look at some of the seismic data inside the Common Earth model. Seismic lines are an EarthSci specific 3D format. Instead of projecting a raster onto the surface of the globe, we extrude a curtain layer down from a line across the globe and project a raster image onto that line. Each of the individual seismic layers have a little eye next to them in the catalog view. If I make the information panel a little bigger, I can select any of these layers to show the information for that page. Each line sends us to a different web page, which allows us to read about that particular line and download the data. I'll select all the seismic data in the catalog and deselect all of the folders and click the green plus button at the top of the catalog view to add them all into the scene at the same time. Because this is quite a lot of data, it's going to take a minute to load it all in. Now that I've loaded in all of my seismic lines, I need to change the draw order. When I added it all in, it's added the catalog with its whole tree underneath the default layers. However, because all of this data is sitting underground, I need to move any data that's going to be sitting on the surface, such as the NASA blue marble layer that I am using. I'm going to grab it and move it down so that it sits beneath my seismic lines. Now that I've done that, I can fade out the blue marble layer and see the seismic lines beneath them. Scale back the vertical exaggeration. There are actually two kinds of data there. The first, the big white and gray curtains, are the curtain layers that I spoke of before. The second is the colored interp layers, which are the lines that are drawn on those seismic profiles. These lines aren't actually drawn on the surface of the layers. They are their own independent 3D models. If we fly over to the last seismic line in the list, these lines are separate GoCAD models showing scientists' interpretations of the seismic data. Because they're a separate GoCAD model, we can toggle them off and on. We can also load in 3D surface models. From the Common Earth model, I am going to load in the major crustal boundaries. This is a 3D surface model which covers all of Australia. It is a large data set built from seismic interpretations. And if we zoom in to where the model intersects with one of the seismic lines, we can actually see where exactly the interpretations of the seismic profiles intersect with the surface model. And if we toggle it off, we can actually see the exact line in the interpretation that corresponds to the surface. Now that I've got quite a lot of 3D data in the scene, it would be wise to delete bits that I don't need anymore. And so because the seismic data sets are quite large, I am going to delete them from the scene. It will depend on how powerful your machine is as to how much data EarthSight can handle. As long as you've got video card memory available, EarthSight will, however, load in as many models as you want and allow you to view them at the same time. And it doesn't matter if these are smaller models of localized areas or if they're incredibly large models like the crustal boundaries, which span over an entire continent. To demonstrate this, I've loaded in the Bowen Surratt Basin model. The Bowen Surratt model is a surface model depicting the geological surfaces in the Bowen Surratt Basin. Despite the fact that I've already got the crustal boundaries loaded, EarthSci will happily load in this localized model and allow me to look through the different surfaces down to the basement. The last large 3D feature in EarthSci is volume data sets. EarthSci supports loading in volume data sets. And an example from the Common Earth model is the Osram dataset. Now that I've loaded the data in, we can see a very large box that has been deformed to the shape of the globe. If I click and drag anywhere on the surface of this volume, EarthSci will slice through the volume, showing me the different layers of data from top to bottom. I can also click on any of the sides or even the bottom of the volume and drag the mouse to slice through that volume from any of the different sides of the box in order to see a smaller version of the data. Thanks for joining us for this video on 3D data in EarthSci. For more information, please visit ga.gov.au slash EarthSci.